Hello, my name is Ms. Dev and I am your friendly local school librarian. Today I'm here to talk to you about the book, The Compton Cowboys. We have it available in the Markham Library in both adult edition and um, young reader edition. So you can get either one of those that suits you. So my question to you is, have you ever seen a black cowboy in the movies or TV? What about in your textbook? I'm pretty sure you have not. However, if you live or work in Compton or Watts, you have probably seen one of the Compton cowboys galloping through town, maybe stopped at a stoplight or near the train tracks. I know I have, and it is quite a sight to see. In Compton Cowboys, the new gener of a generation of cowboys in America's heartland, New York Times reporter Walter, Walter Thompson Hernandez, um, who is actually from South Los Angeles, Southeast Los Angeles, which is very close to us, um, tells the fascinating story of the Compton Cowboys, which is a group of African-American men and women from Compton who are um, trying to uphold the centuries-long tradition of black uh, cowboys and change the perception of the city of Compton, which is one of America's most misjudged and misunderstood cities. So some of the things that people say about Compton are true. It is maybe not always the safest neighborhood. So there is gang violence. There are drive-bys. There, it is the home of NWA, but there are a lot of other amazing things about Compton, including the Compton Cowboys. So in 1988, a lady named Myasia Akbar founded the Compton Junior Posse at Richland Ranch to provide local youth with a safe place to go, to stay off the streets, and also if something maybe bad was happening in their house. So at the ranch, these kids found love and peace from the horses as well as each other, and the horses were the glue that kept everybody together. So I think the most important lesson I learned from this book is that animals can provide healing for anybody. Um, all the cowboys have lived several lifetimes in just one lifetime, from being a trauma traumatized child to a confused adult living out their childhood traumas, being from a dangerous or impoverished area. And interestingly enough, a lot of the horses were also not from the best background. Um, the Being with the horses at the ranch Give, gave and still today gives the cowboys a chance to love and care for something they learned responsibility and commitment and in return the horses love and care for them so i guess you could say that they saved each other so once again this book is called the compton cowboys and we have it at the markham library in both adult and young reader edition so I really hope that you guys come and pick it up because I know you'll enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you and I will see you next time.